Just, it's sorry, I know you're not uh, big on discussing injuries or anything, but I guess can you tell us if either Mike is, or Jack has practiced this week, uh, and even if they have or if they have not, how has uh, Donovan and Grant progressed? Um, I would say that uh, um, both have been rehabbing strongly, um, even throwing some. So definitely progressing uh, in that direction. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the predominant snaps were Donovan and Grant. And so that's, that's obviously, since those guys have had so little preparation, that's been the focus to get those guys the reps that they need. And so it's been uh, very positive. You know, So it's just a whole group effort, everybody coming together and elevating their focus and execution and, and uh, staff, everybody, the whole, the whole crew, offense, defense, and special teams working together. So uh, bottom line, it's been a very positive week. Yeah, I think it's uh, very important, you know, and uh, I just think that uh, you got to do everything you can do no matter who's in that position. You know, you got to be able to run the football uh, effectively and that allows you to do other things as well. And it sets a tempo and a tone and, and allows you to control the football in, in a way that you need to and, and be able to keep their explosive offense off the field. So a lot of things with all that, that's part of the, I think that would be a very consistent variable each and every week. But uh, obviously this week it becomes even more important. Yeah, I was just looking for an update on your two corners that were out most of the last game. And uh, the uh, hints you made on Monday about possibly seeing some turnover a little bit in the offensive line, do you still see some some guys getting a chance there? I do. Yeah, I, I can see that for sure on the offensive line. And then as far as the corners, um, you know, we're really trying to get both those guys back. Been working extremely hard. Uh, medical staff's been, you know, relentlessly trying to get those guys ready. And so uh, we'll see. Uh, don't know even that for sure, but uh, be a game time decision. Uh, but uh, just trying to get them uh, so they can play. They're obviously a valuable part of our of our defense and special teams, and they need to get them back. Jim Mike. Hey, Tom, uh, obviously the running game on your side is going to be very, very important this week. How much progress have you seen with the offensive line and that running game getting going? Because without the running game, it's hard to jumpstart your offense. Yeah, it's huge. There's no doubt about it. And it starts up front. You know, we talk about that all the time and, and uh, hasn't been to our standard. And we got to be able to, you know, continue to work on it. And that's been the focus of this entire week. And uh, continue to even, uh, like you said, even some make some adjustments if we need to personnel-wise. But bottom line is it's each guy own his area of responsibility, his technique, his toughness, his execution, working together uh, in the combinations that we do in both the pass game and the run game as well. Coaching staff everybody included. So uh, collective effort, need to be able to run the football, got to be able to stop the run. Quick follow-up, have you made any changes on at the line? Have there been any adjustments? There'll be some adjustments, yes. Mike, Mike and then back to Dustin. Yeah, hey, Coach, you guys have been a little dinged up at wide receiver, and I know you said you haven't had the production there that, that you would have liked. I, you guys also had a trio of impressive freshmen come in this year. I'm curious kind of where they stand, and or should we expect to see them more as this season progresses? Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, Malachi Hope Bennett would be um, of those three new guys has kind of separated himself and uh, working him hard in practice and getting him lots of practice reps, and I think that'll translate to more game reps and, and hopefully some more opportunities opportunities for him to be able to, to catch the football during the game and to block and do everything that we ask our guys to do. And then Jack Quest Smith would be another guy that's been up there working with our our, um, our ones and twos, rotating in and uh, making plays. Made Actually made several uh, catches this week in practice. So those would be the two guys of the young group that I expect to be able to to contribute and uh, be ready to go. Justin? Justin? No, I keep harping on the quarterback question, but I guess what would you say is the most important development you've seen from Donovan this week? Oh, I think just, uh, you know, a calmness of just letting your talent, you know, um, be what it is and not try to press and, and feel that you have to go out there and, and uh, you know, put everything on your shoulders and just relax and play football, you know, and make your reads. And, and uh, so it's just comfortability in, in, the, in the system uh, and being able to, whether it's in the run game, throw game, whatever it is, running, running the offense, you know, being able to make adjustments, getting the signals from the sideline, making the checks and adjustments that we make, all the things, you know, just playing the position. So just doing it more. Uh, he's done it more, obviously, because of the, the reps that he's been getting. And so, and, and we'll see, like I said, that situation will be unfolding here each and every week. But uh, obviously, you know, I think every rep he takes, you saw it even throughout the game,
game uh, will allow him to be able to have more confidence uh, and be able to go out there and just play more relaxed and just allow himself to be able to be at his best. Hey, Coach, um, I was just wondering um, how has Donovan been practicing and preparing for this upcoming weekend, and do you think he's mentally ready to take up this position? Well, uh, bottom line is is that uh, you know, all of our guys, you know, come here with goals and aspirations to be able to have an opportunity to play, and uh, some happen to different uh, timetables, and his has been different. Uh, obviously, with thrust into the game against Ohio State, and based on what happens this week with our guys and and who can go and who can't go, uh, we'll see how that affects his you know ability to to play on, on Saturday. You know, but bottom line is is that mentally, you know, whether it's Grant or him or whoever um, is playing quarterback, you got to be ready. And it's the same way it goes for every. Every position, you know, you have to expect uh, that you'll be in the game and you got to be ready if you're put in the game. So mentally, that's, uh, that's on each and every player. Uh, we emphasize it a lot as a team and address it, talk about it, uh, give them strategies and tools to be able to get themselves made, mentally ready to play. But uh, I expect him, uh, when called upon, to be ready to execute and do his very, very best. So that's what each guy of our team is expected to do, and he'd be no different. All right, All right man, we have the last one. Hey, Coach, how you doing? I'm good, Matt. How are you, buddy? <clears throat> I was going to ask you about Mike uh, McFadden. You mentioned him last night, what a warrior he's been, how you had to literally take him out of the game on Saturday. He's been playing, I know, with the cast. I think he's got a thumb injury. Just just talk about, I mean, you kind of talked about, but just the fact that he's still producing at such an incredible level, playing kind of almost one-handed and, and, you know, obviously in a tough situation with the season not going the way you guys wanted to. Yeah, he is. He is a warrior, uh, tough as nails. Um, just uh, has worked extremely hard to prepare himself, physically and mentally. Uh, become a much better leader verbally, as we've talked about in the past, as which has shown up big time, um, and just uh, just willing, you know this group to be able to stay together, you know, and that to me has been the key. And yeah, there's no doubt that this has gone uh, completely different than any of us had, had expected or hoped and, and uh, or, or would want. But you know what? Uh, he's been able to stay locked in, stay focused, stay positive. He, he has not flinched whatsoever. Uh, and he practices hard every single day. He plays his tail off every single Saturday and that will not change. And so uh, he's, he's a big reason. And there's many others that I believe that we just got to persevere, show tremendous grit and allow this team to continue to fight and uh, much better things are ahead for this team. So uh, he's been awesome. Uh, love his leadership. Appreciate him so much. He's been a reason why he was voted captain, you know, the last couple of years. And uh, and his play on the field shows why he's an All-American. He just uh, he's so consistent, and I uh, just have so much love and respect for Mike and McFadden. All right. All right. Thanks, Tom. Awesome. Have a great day, Elio.